Okay, just want to show you guys real quick how to do a leak down test on a four cycle mix engine. Okay, we'll put a compression ad hose adapter in the spark plug well there. Put a balloon on the end of the hose. Okay, now. <clears throat> When this cylinder is coming up on the compression stroke, this balloon's gonna inflate. Right there, we're coming up on the compression stroke. Okay, so we'll take this out. We'll put a screwdriver or a wooden dowel or whatever you wanna put in there. Bring this cylinder to top dead center. Right there. And we'll mark this with a paint pen. Just in case it moves on us during our test. Okay. And we'll put our adapter back in. And we'll put some shop air in it. This is probably going to move a little bit on us here. So it's moved on us. There you go come out the exhaust valve it's coming out bad so that's running 15 psi in there so um so just for fun let's put some smoke in here and we'll watch it come out of the exhaust valve see any smoke yeah all right so we are at top dead center everything should be sealed look at that that's it, we got a little bit of a, a little bit of a leaky exhaust valve. Okay, I just wanted to give you guys a shot of these valves. The call was a uh, exhaust valve issue, it was not closing. So just as a comparison, here is the intake valve. Okay, you can see nice shiny seat on there. Okay, and then here's our exhaust valve in comparison. Not looking so hot guys. Look at the look at that carbon deposit on that valve stem. It's gone all the way up into that valve guide until it was sticking. So this was never ever closing. Not has nothing to do with the valve seat, although the valve seat looks just as bad because you know it was seeing the combustion gases as well. So she's all burnt up and nasty, but that's what calls it. It's carbon deposits going too far up there or you know and, and seizing um, this exhaust valve in the cylinder head I actually had to use a little brass punch to, to poke this valve out so that's that guys